Do you actually know what to do when you are getting emotionally triggered? Do you know how to deal with that trigger? How do you help yourself? And are you actually able to dissolve it so it won't happen again? If you'd like to find out, stay tuned and this video is definitely for you. Hey, a very warm welcome to another episode of Living Life from Love. I am Carolina Cummins spiritual guide, energy healer and founder of liberatinghearts.com and today I want to share with you as promised in the video that I have put up uh, a few days ago talking about scenarios where you might get into complaining which is like the story that happens before the trigger or during the trigger so have a look at that as well and then come back to this one you know, uh, if you like, or just stay here and let's talk about what actually happens when you're getting triggered. Most people try to push that emotion because it's usually painful or discomfort, it's, you know, some discomfort is coming up. They push it away. You know, quite often we want to drink something, eat something to help ourselves, to feel that discomfort, you know, to make that better. Uh, sometimes to fill a hole uh, or we might um, distract ourselves get busy or we might blame the people around us so we again you know we, we unload we try to unload the burden we try to unload our responsibility really so because the next step is the most powerful and important step is to when you get triggered is to own what's going on within you because the reason why you get triggered is not the other person it's not because they made you feel angry or hurt or scared it's because nobody can actually do that you are the person who is in charge of your life only you can make yourself feel low negative you know angry hurt whatever right nobody can make you feel that way so that's the fallacy that we have learned actually in our society, which is absolutely not true. And so once you are able to get that, to take response ability, so you're able to respond in that situation rather than react and blame. So you take back your power by owning the feeling that's coming up. So then all the outside scenario is going, is going to grow in the background and it doesn't matter anymore. The outside scenario was actually only there to deliver to you a message saying, hey, there is still something unresolved in you. You know, you still got that fear or you still got that hurt. It needs looking at. It wants your attention. And that's why the these scenarios are happening, you know, because they are a mirror of what's going on within you, right? So let's go deeper. Ready? Now, you're owning that emotion and then you're you're you know tuning into that you're really connecting with that give yourself the time sit yourself down give yourself half an hour 20 minutes on your own where you actually honor that feeling and you are giving it all the attention that it needs because you know what it's usually an inner child that is asking for your attention there's something unresolved still that was never you know attended to and it's high time that this needs to happen now so go inside and feel it, connect with it and ask, how old was I when this happened? And allow your unconscious mind to come up with the age and maybe it comes up with a scenario. You might have a memory suddenly that is showing you what actually happened. The very first time when you maybe felt your dad or your mum was saying something to you and you felt you'd done something wrong, you felt you are wrong there's something wrong with you and that's why you are having this this fear you know that's coming up of maybe being late to get to work and then getting told off by your boss and maybe losing your job and or maybe getting you know punished in you know with the anger of the boss or or with some harsh words because all of that for a sensitive soul is is too much we don't want that right so we rather um hide that we rather we rather put it away and don't deal with it right 
so now but that's not the way forward because then you're going around in the, the vicious circle and you're going to have the same scenario happening over and over again so now connect with the inner child ask for the inside when how old was i what happened what happened at that very first event when i felt i was doing something wrong and maybe your child will say something to you. Maybe you, you've got some emotions coming up. Maybe you've got some tears coming up, which would be really good. And, and find out what did your inner child, what did she need at that time? Usually it's love, understanding, cuddles, peace, you know, um, not being told certain things or being listened to, being seen, being understood. And, and now I want to share with you something I've actually never shared here before and I don't share very often at all because it's, it's the way I work with you in my Rediscover Your Radiance program. It's very, very important to heal the dark, the untrue belief, you know, of, that says I am wrong. You know, that's not true. In your essence, you know, your true being is not wrong. You know, how can she be wrong? She's just the way she is. She's a sensitive being. And, and it was hard for her to to fit in here, you know. And the parents were maybe trying to tell you to be different and to fit in and not to be so sensitive or, um, you know, something along that line. And But as a child, you picked up and you made, you, you assume that I am wrong. So, you know, the way I am is no good. I have to be different. And therefore, you cut off part of yourself. You know, you you actually became someone else. You played a role. And... And the, the inner child that wants to express herself is, has no chance. And therefore, you are, you are actually lacking the connection to your true self. And hence, you feel unfulfilled. Your life is not going the way you want it to be. And you don't feel loved as you are. Because there's a part in you that you're not, love, not loving. So what needs to happen now to uncreate that untruth? You need love, light, and truth to dissolve it. So that what I do with you in my in my healing journey that I offer to my clients, it's a one-to-one, -one, two months healing journey, that, that I ask you to come up and rise up to the realm of your soul where you will be standing in the pure, beautiful, golden, white light of your soul, where you are experiencing this shower of golden light you know where you you get exactly what the little child actually wanted at that time and if she had had that knowing of i am a radiant being i am loved i am loved myself then she would have not assumed what she did assume at that time so once the little child then feels filled up with that golden light and she can then also see from that higher realm why your parent or whoever else it was you know who was telling you that you're not right the way what you're doing now this you shouldn't be doing this you're wrong and all that stuff she can see why that person might have done that and by understanding that and seeing that you can take back the power that you've given to that person you know you might have wanted all your life for them to have said something different to have loved you, they, you, you wanted to be loved by them, you know, the way you are, and you wanted it to be like this and like this and like this. And so your focus is always outside there with them. And therefore you're never getting what you actually wanted. So now you have this chance to get to what you wanted, to feel the way you wanted to feel as a child. And once you feel full up with your own light and love, then go back down into your child and let her experience that now. What is it now like for her to be in that situation again? Now knowing who you truly are, remembering who you truly are. And then usually the child feels free or at ease or it doesn't matter anymore. She doesn't feel bothered. It doesn't affect her. And she can just be, oh, well, never mind whatever they are saying. You know, I'm just going to be like me. See, then the outcome and now going forward, if your child had had that outcome, Going forward in her life, she would have had a very different experience and in many scenarios later on down the line. Can you see that? So this is really, really empowering. And it will then resolve that belief that you may be like, I'm wrong. It will resolve the fear around being who you really are. 
and, and therefore you will shine more light, you will be more radiating your own light because you let go of some fear. Very important, right? And then you're not cutting off yourself from your own love and your own truth, you know, from the way you are. And your inner child then has a chance to guide you because then the last step that we do is to pull her into your heart so she's with you here and now and she then has this beautiful role that she is actually here to do for you to connect you with your soul with your soul essence you know because your inner child carries the essence of your soul which is maybe being very buoyant and bubbly and big and loud you know and people might have told you don't be so loud don't be like this don't be like this you know but now she has a chance to actually express herself and be herself and not please the others anymore. And can you see how different your life will become when you are living from your inner child, when you're living from your true self and your soul? And that's, by the way, is how I help you. This is actually my speciality. I want to help energy sensitive, empathic, maybe even psychic women like you who are possibly at the verge of coming out you know, into maybe launching a business, wanting to do your own work, self-empower, you know, self-employed work, where you're offering your your business a service that you've maybe learned some healing way or or some some service for other people, but you're feeling still doubts and you're having a lack, you know, lack of self-trust and lack of self-love, and therefore you find it hard to go forward. You 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 stop, you know, you stop again and again. You go a little forward and then no. I'm not doing it, you know, or you because you don't feel confident, you don't love yourself, you feel you've got not enough to offer, and therefore you don't get further on, you know, you don't step into your soul's purpose. That's what I really want to help you from being stuck and standing in front of the fear and not being able to, you know, jump over it or actually delete it to being able to step into your soul's purpose and, you know, and shine your light and become the empowered, self-empowered radiant being that you truly are. So I help you to get from here to there. And then you've got probably, you know, the, the road is then free for you to actually step into that self-empowerment, for instance, of becoming your own business owner or becoming a um, freelance person. If that's something you like to do, I mean, I will leave some links below the video and you can check that out um, on my website. Um, and if you found this helpful, if this really, you know, helped you a little bit further, let me know, give me a like, and there is a video that's coming up here later on, uh, you can see now where, you know, I talk about how you create, you are the creator of your life. And if you don't dissolve your triggers, you see, you're going to create, recreate what you have always created and you're going to sabotage your life. But if you are freeing yourself from from the unresolved issues that come usually from childhood or that you have also maybe inherited from your ancestors, then that's also possible. Um, you know, if you don't uh, resolve <clears throat> any of that, you will just simply create the same stuff again and again. It makes sense, right? So, you know, let me know if that was useful. If you've got any questions, I'd love to connect with you. Um, watch the video now for, you know, becoming your own creator and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos on living life from love okay i look forward to next time bye for now <laughs>